Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at a solution to problem B2 from the 2017 Putnam exam. So let's see what the question says. So we wanna suppose that we have a natural number n, so in other words, a positive integer, and that n can be expressed in the following form. So we have n equals a plus a plus one plus a plus two, all the way up to a plus k minus one. So we've got these k terms that are all in a row. So a and a plus one are next to each other all the way up to this, this one. And we want to suppose that this expression um, exists for this k equals 2017, so the exam year, but no other k bigger than 1. So there's only one way to make this expression, and that's for k equals 2017. Um, and the question that we want to answer is of all possible n, so maybe there's a bunch of n that satisfy this condition, what is the smallest number a in such an expression? Okay, so what's the smallest that a can be? Okay, great. So the first thing that we want to notice is that we can write n as, I'm just going to copy this over, so this is a plus a plus 1 plus a plus 2 all the way up to a plus k minus 2 plus a plus k minus 1. Great. And then we can rearrange this a little bit. We can put all of the a's together. So we have a plus a plus a plus a. And notice this is like obviously k times. Great. And then also we have this triangular number, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to k minus 2 plus k minus 1. So that's the sum of the first k minus 1 natural numbers. And so we know what this is because it's a triangular number. And uh, we should probably know the formula for that. And so that's what we'll use. So now notice that these add up to k times a, and then those add up to one half times k times k minus one. And then the next thing that we can do is we can put this together. So this is going to be equal to k over two times the quantity two a plus k minus one. So what did I do there? I just factored a half out of the whole thing and a k out of the whole thing. Okay, great. So now, uh, so that we don't have to deal with this 2 in the denominator, we'll actually prove an uh, equivalent statement uh, to what we're trying to do over here involving 2 times n instead of just n. And so that means here we can write 2 times n as k times 2a plus k minus 1. And this value of 2 times n is actually the one that we're interested in. Okay, so now I'm going to move this to the top of the board, and then we're going to go on to the next step of our solution. Okay, so now we ended the last board with writing 2n in this form, k times the quantity 2a plus k minus 1. Now I want to make some observations, and that is that k is clearly less than 2a plus k minus 1. That's easy to check because a is a natural number. In other words, it's bigger than or equal to 1. Okay, the next thing I want to notice is that uh, these two have opposite parity. So notice if k is even, then k minus 1 is odd, which means 2a plus k minus 1 is also odd, and then vice versa. If k is odd, then that other thing is going to be even uh, for a similar uh, argument. Okay, now the next thing that I want to notice is that <coughs> we can always factor... Two n as m times n, where one is less than m is less than n, and these have opposite parity. Great. <clears throat> okay. So from here, uh, what we want to notice is that we actually have a factorization of 2n up here. And so we can look at this factorization and view it as a factorization of this form. So in other words, we can set m equal to k, and we can set n equal to 2a plus k minus 1. 
Great, but uh, we're able to solve this for a. That means a equals one half n minus k plus one. Okay, great. Um, so in other words, what we can do here is that we can notice we have an expression of the form uh, maybe given by this up here. For all such factorizations of 2n. Great. So you give me a factorization of 2n, and I can get an expression of this form. But notice an expression of this form can easily be reverse engineered by what we had on the first board into an expression of this form. Okay, good. So I'll move this to the top of the board, and then we'll pick up with the next step. Okay, so let's see where we are so far. We've written 2n as k times the quantity 2a plus k minus 1. We know that k is less than 2a plus k minus 1, and they have opposite parity. And then we argued that any factorization of 2n as m times n um, leads to an expression of this form. But remember, we want this expression uh, to be unique for a given k value, and specifically k equals 2017. So what we'll do now is set k equal to 2017, and notice that's going to give us 2n equals 2017 times 2a plus 2016. Okay, good. But let's now notice that uh, 2017 is prime. And so maybe how would you check that on the exam? Because you'd really want to check that on, on the exam um, and not just say it. And you would do that in the following way. You would notice that 45 squared equals 2,025, which is bigger than 2,017. And then check all primes to... To 43, which is the one right underneath 45. And what you can show is that none of those primes divide 2017, which makes 2017 prime. Okay, great. So now we have 2017 is a prime odd number. And now the next claim that we want to make is that 2a plus 2016 um, does not have an odd factor. Great. So in other words, only even numbers are going to divide 2a plus 2016. And so let's look at this proof. So let's suppose that we can write 2a plus 2016 as r times s, where r is odd, but that makes s even. And we know that because, um, <clears throat> well, this number is even, so that if we factor an odd number out of it, the other thing has to be even. But now, using what we had on the previous board, that we can write 2n as 2017 times r times s. Great. So here we have an odd number because it's a product of two odd numbers and then s which is an even number. So let's write that down. So we have 2017 um, r is odd but then s is even. So let's see what we've got going on here. We have a factorization of 2n equals m times n with uh, the factors having opposite parity. And so using the formula that we had on the other board, that means that we can write n as um, b plus b plus 1 plus all the way up to b plus k minus 1. And then in this case, k equals 2017 r. Great. And then that makes b equal 1 half times s 
minus 2017 R plus one. Okay, great, but that's a problem because that means we have another expression of this form for n, but the assumption was that n only had one expression of this form, so that makes this a contradiction. We have contradicted the fact that 2a plus 2016 has an odd factor, so that means it does not have an odd factor. Okay, great, so now uh, we'll clean up the board and we're almost done. Okay, so we're nearing the end and we've just proven that 2a plus 2016 does not have an odd factor. And let's recall that if it did have an odd factor, then that meant that we were able to get two expressions of this form for our n. Um, but we only want one expression of that form. So if this does not have an odd power, it immediately follows that 2a plus 2016 only has even factors, but that means it must be a power of 2. So 2a plus 2016 is a power of 2. So now we want to know which is the smallest power of 2 it is able to be, and that will give us the smallest such a. So what we'll do is we'll set 2a plus 2016 equal to all the powers of 2 until we find the smallest such power of 2 that gives us a natural number solution, and that will give us the smallest such a. So we'll have 2a plus 2016 equals, and so... I'll uh, write all of the powers of 2 that don't give us natural number solutions. So we have 1, which is 2 to the 0, 2, which is 2 to the 1, 4, um, 8, 16, and then I'll skip some, 32, 64, and so on and so forth, up to 1,024. But if it's equal to one of those, you can easily check that A is not a natural number. But we obviously want A to be a natural number because that's in the setup of our problem. But if we go to the next power of 2, so 2A plus 2016 equals 2048, well that's going to give us 2A equals 32, which means A equals 16. And that is the smallest such natural number um, for which this expression is unique. And that's uh, the end of our solution.